My name is Paul Luna, and you're tuned into FMB Lunacy. I am here with Chef Mikey Termini. How are you, my friend? Hello. I'm doing great. I'm doing really great. Chef Termini, tell us about yourself. What are you doing? What are you working? Uh, so currently, I'm working at the JW Marriott in Marco Island. Uh, it's down here in Florida. Uh, been doing this for three years. I'm the senior sous chef. So uh, I like to say the third in command in the kitchen world. I've been down here three years now. Uh, before here, I was at the Four Seasons Orlando. I was there for a good three years. Before that, I was at the Four Seasons Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, again, for a good two years. And before that, I was in the Proud Maui Four Seasons. Currently running a, a hotel of, uh, we've got about 900 rooms, uh, altogether 13 uh, restaurant outlets in the property. Uh, I oversee the majority of those, pro those outlets, um, including two of our golf courses that are off-site. You're married? I am. So married to my beautiful wife, Toby, who we met in Hawaii. Uh, and had two beautiful daughters, Johnny and Betty, who are, who are now uh, teenagers and, you know, driving and talking back, so. <laughs> are you still riding motorcycles? I uh, still ride a motorcycle, yeah, just for transit. Uh, I've got a Yamaha R6, and I, mm -hmm. I try to keep the speed down. <laughs> Fixing up an old car as well. Uh, me and my wife found an old 52 Chevy Bel Air. This is one of your other hobbies? It is. One of, yeah, one of my passions. So as you can see, I'm a, I'm a Chevy guy. All right. How long would it take you to, to, to have it ready so that we can take a drive? Uh, honestly, I, I'm probably going to be able to get it done within this next year. What prepares you for the job you're in? Is it the love for cars or is it the love for cooking? Definitely the love for cooking. Yeah, I, I actually had one of my cooks ask me the other day. So uh, in one of our busiest restaurants, we just lost our chef. He moved on to another restaurant, understandable. So I'm looking after his restaurant for now. And one of the cooks asked, said, chef, you're doing this job but you're also looking after the entire hotel. He's like, are, are they compensating you somehow? I'm like, every day is compensation. Every, every meal served, every happy guest, every great review. He's like, no, 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 no money, money. I'm like, I, I'm telling you, if, if we got into this job for the money, probably would have got out a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Should chefs be compensated greatly for the job that they do? It's tough. It's that that's always the, the argument with chefs moving up. They they say, well, chef, I need more money. And I said, I, I understand that sometimes the passion outweighs the pay, you know, depending. And of course, everybody has families to support. You know, they have their own life. But, you know, if you don't have the love and the passion for it to begin with, I, I feel it translates into the food. How long have you been doing this, Chef? Uh, so I've been cooking ever, uh, gosh, 21 years now. So right out of high school, I in Santa Cruz, California, I jumped on a plane uh, to get away from doing bad stuff in my hometown. And I, I landed in Hawaii, and I, I just started by doing dishes. Started working this little uh, southern restaurant, Pizzazz Cafe. So I was doing dishes and the chef asked me one day, he said, do you want to be a cook or a bartender? And I said, I'll probably live longer if I'm a cook because <laughs> I'll be drinking too much as a bartender. <laughs> but come to find out the cook and the bartender are very uh, integrated pieces of uh, machinery in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> food goes to the bar, alcohol goes to the kitchen. So... <laughs> Do you enjoy playing with yourself? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
just like being in the kitchen, you know, you're, you're experimenting, you're trying something new. You... When you're in the kitchen, whether it be at home or in one of your outlets in the restaurants, you have to be playing with yourself. Always, always pushing yourself, trying something new. If you're not playing with yourself, you're stagnant. There we go. I, I love that. If you're not playing with yourself, you're stagnant. And, and you see that in a lot of cooks where they, they get burnt out. They're stagnant. They're, they're tired of what they're doing. They're not finding that joy in, in their daily routine. So Because they're in that routine. They're not, they're not playing with themselves. Do you see yourself currently today um, more uh, uh, as a mentor than cooking? I find myself a lot more as a mentor nowadays, uh, just because of how many outlets I, I oversee. Um, but I, I always jump at the, at the, you know, the invitation to, to guide somebody by showing them hands-on. Um, cause then they, they can see, you know, I'm not just, I'm not just telling a story. You know, I, I, I have the physical skills behind it. When you're looking at a, at a line cook, do they have to show interest in order for you to go there? Or do you sort of like search for the ones that are left behind and I, push I seek it out. I, I almost see it as like, um, like you're watching a car go down the road that's got a faulty wheel. You know, like you can see it, the driver may not see it, but you can see it. So you, you know, you lay on your horn, you honk, hey, Let's, let's pull over, let's, let's figure this out. I see that you've become quite the teacher. Yeah, I love it. I, I've taken all that I've been taught from all the great chefs I've had and, and I love passing that on and adding, adding my little bits as well because I, it's, it's amazing seeing some cooks now and, and I can see in them what I used to have and they're, they're excited and there's some passion. So you just have to, have to keep fueling that fire. How do you take a, a, a cook uh, or a dishwasher and be able to instill in this person to come into work? How do you go about that? I just, I love making it fun every day. You know, keeping things light because, you know, in the kitchen, it's, there's so much stress. There's so much possible animosity in there that any, any bit of light, lightheartedness in the day it it livens them up you know tell a couple jokes you know make something funny instead of just always the routine everything tough you know and sometimes just by spending time with some of these line cooks or a dishwasher they appreciate that and that fuels them as well to come in every day and to put in their hardness you, you didn't go to culinary school chef mikey I didn't. No, I, I just started doing dishes and learned from the School of Hard Knocks. And I mean, my my first cooking job was in the Southern restaurant and uh, a breakfast position opened up at the Five Palms down the road. And I jumped at that and that was just breakfast. You know, I'm, I'm learning eggs. And after my shift was done, I would always clock out and stick around and help them prep for dinner just to learn, you know, I'd, I'd be learning new techniques every day. And they're like, you, you just clocked out. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm being paid knowledge right now. That's, that's what I'm doing. And no, no loan to pay back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you cook much at home, Chef Termini? Oh, absolutely. Every chance I get. And, 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 and does the menu change quite often? At the oh, at home? oh, definitely. Sometimes it's, all right, what do we got in the fridge? We're going to whip something amazing out of what the, what few ingredients we've got right now. My wife always scorns me because she's like, there's nothing in the fridge and you made this amazing meal. I'm like, well, I've, I've been doing it a while. So, so, so the kids, when it comes to food, they're pretty spoiled. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, from, when we lived in Hawaii, we would be out at the beach and I'd dive down and, and grab an uni out of the water and crack it open. And they were, they were eating that raw uni right off the beach. Have you considered writing a book? 
Uh, I actually have. I, I've thought about that. I um, definitely would love to dip into the cookbook. Um, my hotel actually just put out a digital copy of our cookbook recently. So I'm thinking that's going to be my springboard to, to be able to engineer my own. What can we look for in, in Chef Termini's future to look out for? What, what can you tell us about things that you may be working on or things that are in the burner? Uh, I have to say, I, I can't wait for everybody to see me back on TV because I, I don't know if you knew while I was at the Four Seasons in Maui, I, I went on to Hell's Kitchen and I was on uh, season seven of Hell's Kitchen. So I'm, I'm looking at uh, getting my face back on the big screen, you know. In, in what capacity? Just just being on, on on screen? Yeah, being out there, getting this beautiful face and, you know, <laughs> into everybody's homes. <laughs> Knocking at people's door. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's me. Hi. <laughs> it's, your, it's your neighbor, Mikey. Guy who's looking in the fridge. <laughs> what what's important in your life today uh most important for me is staying true to my family and making sure they're happy every day and just i think what really gets me going is seeing my children developing into adults now and And that's probably the most important thing. What would you consider would be the meaning in life for you? Gosh. <laughs> that, now that's a harder question than playing my, with myself. I think the meaning of life is surrounding yourself with loved ones and just giving the most to everybody that surrounds you, contributing positively and equally lifting everybody up. So many times egos can get in the way in the kitchen. And that's also another thing I, I tell all my cooks. I'm like, I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to be proud. I'm not trying to be the number one. I'm trying to make us number one. Chef Termini, would you consider yourself a lunatic? Oh, Chef, Chef Luna, when I look back at my training, I, I feel myself nothing but a lunatic. 